Nine years is a heck of a long time to wait for a plant to flower. But the end is near for Plant Collections curator Stephen Bishop, who received this now monstrosity when it was very small. We got him at about the size of a golf ball, and over those nine years he's grown up to be about 32 kgs last time we, we weighed him, and that was in November. Uh, at that stage we potted him up, and fingers crossed he was going to flower, but we didn't really know. Um, and yeah, just before Christmas we saw the, the first little point coming out of the ground, so that was quite exciting, but we didn't actually know what um, that, that spike was going to uh, do. So uh, a month or so later, um, yeah, it finally revealed that it was going to flower. It's the biggest flowering structure in the world, and there's only a few in New Zealand. The question on many people's lips is, when will it flower? Yeah, really good question. Uh, I don't actually know the answer to that one. Uh, they, they're, they're all quite variable, so probably no one can actually answer that question for you. Uh, it's going to be soon though. Um, I would say definitely in the next week. Could be tomorrow, could be five days away, yeah. Just don't know. However, the common name for Amorphophallus titanum is corpse flower, for obvious reasons. When it opens, it smells like decomposing animal flesh. And that's to attract a, an insect that usually pollinates it. But obviously these uh, insects, uh, carrion beetles, uh, are not in New Zealand, so um, we, we put that it's uh, native to the Sumatran rainforest where, where it uh, grows. Bishop says it's the only one to flower in the South Island. A collection of people from a local rest home had just visited the corpse flower and were suitably impressed by its size. I love it, but it does look like a giant corn on the cob. Well, like the first time I saw it, and uh, it was uh, quite amazing, really. I went cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's not stinky yet. <laughs> there are three cameras trained on it, so when the flower finally erupts, it will be captured for posterity. Thankfully, not in smell-o-vision. Darrell Beza, The South Today.